Chalo ili siku, oza siya mpena Thank you, let us sit down In just a moment, I'll be sharing a very brief word for you uh, that are here. And I want to share something that is going to be very uh, liberating to you. Let us say God's supernatural provision. God's supernatural provision. Say it again, say God's, God's supernatural, supernatural provision. provision. That's what is, that's the title of my message in the next few minutes. But let me appreciate all of you who have come here today. It's good to see you again uh, that you decided to come to church. Amen. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you, you did very well. And God is going to minister to your heart today amen. by coming here. Amen. Uh, let's say amen. amen. I also want to appreciate for the first time uh, Pastor Membere and Amai Membere. I feel from, well, they were in Blawai. And I don't know what happened, they were shaken. <laughs> shaken! <laughs> so that they can come to UK. Amen. They, they are in Cambridge, and they stay in a place called Huntingdon. We visited them yesterday there, but uh, my mom was not there, she had gone somewhere. But we saw Daddy, and they uh, got to their house. It was nice to visit you. Uh, so we owe you another visit yeah. when the children have come. Yeah. They've got uh, uh, is is Kemo is the girl, boy or the girl? Yeah. The girl. What does Kemo mean? Kimo. Or is it Kimo or Kemo? Kimo Nelwe. Kimo Nelwe. What does that mean? Uh, you've been granted unto us by God. Wow, you've been granted unto us by God. Matapiwa, Matapiwa, is it? Well, they are believing God that their children will come soon. And um, if, if, you, if they come here, well, Sunday school is here. Um, there are so many choices. They are in the middle of, of UK, Cambridge. So they can go anywhere, uh, really. But if you come here, that's fine. Uh, he's coming as a pastor, so he comes under the instruction of Prophet Utaonashi. Uh, so he might just be commissioned to go to where? York? Or you can be commissioned to go to Scotland? I don't know. <laughs> because he is a person under authority. So he's given what to do. But for now, today, he's here. If you can come and come and he has got a unique ministry of worship, of dance, and of a lot of things. Uh, plus Buchena. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are the most handsome, beautiful couple uh, in, in this revival. Uh, so now let it happen to us all uh, because of you. Uh, situation hands towards them. So you passed and this is member. Babana Mai Buchena. We welcome you, we welcome you. To, UK. to UK with your children. With your children. Amen. 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 Maybe at the end I'll ask him to greet you. But let me pray for you, Mommy. Yesterday, we, when we got home, I prayed for dead. And I prayed for his feet. Can you imagine? I just felt that God was saying, pray for his feet. So that where his feet treads, God can give him those. So I prayed for his feet. Now, for you, Mami Trefin, we're going to pray for your hands. Amen. Your hands. Amen. So that what you touch will turn to gold. Amen. Now, I know you, you can think of work. If it's work, but people. Nah. The people you're going to touch in this land, they are going to uh, be blessed by God with the healing, Amen. Uh, Amen. with the prophecy, 
Amen. Something is going to happen. Amen. Amen. And uh, yesterday it's me who laid my hands on on you. Now today, my queen is the one who is going to lay my hands on you. Amen. So don't worry, we're going to come to you. Stand there. Sit there. Just sit there. My queen, come and sit over there. And you, you, you touch her hands. Let us pray that the hands of Mrs. Membere will touch English people, will touch Welsh people, will touch Scots people yes. and Irish people, and uh, will also touch work. She works with, uh, I think, uh, council in Huntington or whatever she touches. Let it tend to gold Amen. or health or Amen. peace or joy. Amen. Now, Father, yes. we lay our hands on this woman. Pray that, Lord, whoever she touches, Lord, with her voice, with her hands, with her ministry, even if she cooks food, oh God, let people be blessed by that food. Lord, if she makes deco in the house or in the church, let people be blessed by that deco in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for her and we welcome her and Nyasha in this land. That Lord, you may give them the wealth and the health and the things of this land. Deliver them from danger, from death and from disease. Deliver them from evil people and from uh, evil women and evil men. In the name of Jesus, we pray for Kemo and her sibling. That Lord, you will help them to come here soon. In the name of Jesus Christ, and give them favor in whatsoever they do. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we exalt you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Let's say amen. You know, when you lay hands on people, people will be healed. So don't, don't fear to lay hands. Even the English people. Just say, may I lay my hands on you? So why do you want to lay my hands on me? You say because the Bible says, I lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. The land, they should actually recover. Amen. Amen. Uh, it will happen. Amen. Um, do you know that you can lay hands on people and people can recover? Come, let me pray for you. Pray, pray for Ruwa in this generation. Amen. There, are, there are people in this country who are not listening to me. I'm praying you stand there, stand there. I'm praying that this generation of these kids can, yeah. will 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 convince these English people, yeah, these Welsh people, by someone who who is young. Oh, you born in Zimbabwe? Yeah. Oh, you are born here. Yeah. So I'm praying for a British woman. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> Today I'm praying for a real British woman. Yeah. See that your generation can know God so much Amen. that some of them you will preach to yeah. and let them be born again. Amen. So stretch your hands towards Ruwa and every generation, all these kids who are being born here. Now I lay my hands on this girl that my father, she and the generation of God, whether it is Nyasha, the brother or Amanda, and anybody who is born or born down to these young people we have seen like Zayn this kind of father, we pray that you may bless them. Let them lay hands on Irish people, English people. Let them on Scots people and the Lord on Welsh people. Let them be born again. Let them be saved in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes. The rest of you, just hold your hands together. Hold your hands together like this. Now, Father, I pray for hands. All these hands, oh God, let them touch the people of Europe. Let them touch the people of England. Let them touch the people of Wales. Let them touch the people of Scotland. Let them touch the people of Northern Ireland, even the Republic of Ireland. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, let them touch, oh God, with their voices. Let them touch, oh God, with their ministry. Even those of them who minister, whether it is in care or in, in medical services, Lord, let them touch these people, oh God. Let them be born again. Let them be saved in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. 
in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Let's say Amen. Amen. Let's say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me try to say my words in, in a few words. I say the God supernatural provision. Say it again, say God supernatural provision. God supernatural provision. And uh, God has provided for you. Do you know that? Amen. And I wanted to give a list. Then I discovered that it cannot be a list. You know how many things have God has given you? Yeah. All things. Wow. Look at Romans 8, verse number 32. Romans 8, verse 32. I'll read it. God has given you all things. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freel freely give us all things? Let's say all things. Let's say I've been given all things. Let's say all things are mine. So whatsoever falls in the category of a thing, God has given us those things. Like I said earlier on, and blessing is not here, you must make sure you tell blessing this verse. I was telling blessing to enjoy her man. After giving it, after tithing it, then the rest that remains, eat it. Enjoy it. The problem is sometimes when we get things, we don't enjoy them. Now let me show you a verse from now onwards. I would like that you may change your theology. 2 Peter 1 3. 2 Peter 1 3. Uh, by the way, those of you who are in UK, enjoy being in UK. Yeah. Well, there are some people who wish they were here. Now you come here, then you don't enjoy it. I mean, <laughs> what does it help? Some people will say, I'm not in the UK. Now you enter, you don't want to enjoy it. Please enjoy being here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2 Peter 1 3. According as his divine power has given unto us how many things? Oh. All things uh, that pertain unto life and godliness through virtue he has given us and called us to glory and virtue. Let's say amen. amen. Uh, those things there are everything he has given us so that we can we can rejoice we can enjoy them we can be able to rejoice in the labor of our in whatsoever we do so that we can rejoice lift up your hands a little bit right now yes. just talk to the father and say lord i thank you that you have given me all things and Lord, I thank you, O oh God, that you would like me, O oh God, that I may rejoice, O oh God. You have given us many things. And I thank you for them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. To, well, 1 Timothy 6, verse 17. Uh, this one you must open. 1 Timothy uh, 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who give us richly all things to enjoy. Let's say it together. Let's say he gives us, he gives us richly, richly all things, all things to, enjoy. to enjoy. So if you are given a shoe, enjoy your shoe. If you are given a nice dress like my spanda, then enjoy your dress. <laughs> Don't wear it and feel like you are wearing a sick. You are not wearing a sick, my spanda. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. Amen. <laughs> Saga, enjoy it. Amen. Amen. You have been given all things richly to enjoy. Amen. Including my spanda. And did you tell my husband to enjoy my husband? Now, what's the point of staying in that house and, and, and seeing I wish my husband were dead? No! You have been given my husband to richly enjoy. Amen. 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 Beautiful, dark, and beautiful. Amen. Dark ladies. Amen. See, like that one over there. <laughs> you see, it is for, for re. Oh, with the apology, by the way. My character. <laughs> I'm sorry, my <laughs> it's, it's so that it can be well. You see, please, 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 please. Let us not spend our lives in hell. 
saved but in hell. Can you imagine? Born again saved, going to heaven but in hell. I mean, what's the, I'm not in hell. I was delivered from hell. Yeah. I'm a child of God. I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. Not, I can't live in hell in UK because of the weather, because of the shift. What else things bother you people? <laughs> huh? The bosses, but boss are not like it. All those things that bother you here, that, that's not your portion. Your portion is to enjoy. Amen. Mozart was an English music composer. They say one of his songs he composed while his mother-in-law was shouting. The mother-in-law of Mozart was shouting. Then Mozart went to his composition and he began to compose a song. <laughs> From the mother-in-law. And then you've got one of the classical music pieces. And these days in my car, I, I listen to classical music. <laughs> and uh, uh, one of them is from Amadeus. Uh, Amadeus is Mozart. In other words, Mozart was enjoying a shouting mother in law. <laughs> mother in laws. Uh, Man Kwena, Man Kachana. Who, is, who else are mother in laws here? Uh, my by, by others. Please don't shout, okay? Don't shout at anybody. <laughs> but if you've got a mother in law who shouts, it's better to say, we, we, we enjoy this mother. She is unique. Uh, there are some, some tempo she gets into. And when it's that, she, we call it she freaks out. <laughs> and say, Mom, Mom is freaking out today. You see? But don't, mothers don't do it. But whatsoever that happens, it is for enjoying. Amen. Now, anyway, I said the list is too long. But I wanted to come and tell you today that one of the greatest things that God gives you is peace. Amen. Put your hands like this. Let's say peace. peace. Let's say peace in my heart. Peace in my heart. Let's say joy and peace. Joy and peace. See, peace is so good. Yeah. Peace does not come from the world. Amen. Peace does not come from money. Amen. Forget a car. Amen. Peace does not even come from a husband or a wife. Amen. Because, because you can have a husband and a wife and no peace. Peace comes from God. Amen. Peace does not come from UK. Amen. That's why you are in UK and it's possible not to have. It doesn't come from Zimbabwe. Forget it. Mm -hmm. Definitely not Lebanon. <laughs> because yes, these days they are under a barrage of missiles from Israel. Mm -hmm. And it's also not Israel. Mm -hmm. Peace comes from the Lord. Amen. My peace I give to you, says the Lord. Amen. Not as the world gives, but I give my peace to you. Amen. Put your hand over your heart like this. And I said, I receive the peace of the Lord. That's why he is called Jehovah Shalom. Is that so? What does Shalom mean? Oh, peace. So your name is peace. Okay. Let's say Jehovah Shalom. Let's say Shalom Muyambo. You see, God is giving us peace. So if you are without peace today, if Jesus is in your heart, receive that peace. Amen. Now, that peace does not come from the circumstances. That's why Jesus was in a storm and uh, in a ship that is being rocked. The very first day I went to a ship, I, I, I almost got sick. Because a ship makes you get what they call seasickness. And seasickness makes you want to grow up. You see? But Jesus was in a boat that is being rocked and he had no seasickness. In fact, what was he doing? Sleeping. He was sleeping. What? Yeah. You sleeping in a, a rocking boat like this? Then he woke up. I like what he did when he woke up. Because the Bible says that when he woke up, he did something remarkable. He, he said, and he rose up in Mark 4, verse 39, and he appealed the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. Yes. And the wind ceased. Hallelujah. And there was a great calm. Amen. 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 So, next time you see turmoil, you see problems. You see cacophony, confusion, and the mirijong. I like my term. 
Mapiringwata. Mapiringwata. When you see mapiringwata, cocophony, confusion, wherever you see it, stand up and say, peace be still. Because the Prince of Peace wants and provides peace. Now, you, 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 you will say, where do we get my periquata? It can happen at work. Right. Especially here. Yeah. In Africa, work was easy, man. You can just come and you put your jacket on your chair and go away. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> and still get your salary at the end of the day. Amen. You see, that's the work ethic of Africa. But here, the work ethics are very high. You do a small little thing, it's a big story. Why did you not put this T here? Why did you not I the dot, the uh, dot the I here? Why is it that you leave this cup here? Why is it that you did not sign in? Ah, come on, on. It is so much. Amen. And then it is taken out of context. When you see those things at your workplace, Remember, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Amen. You should be able to lie at work and be able to be at peace at work when there is confusion. Amen. When the people are confused, with peace at work. Amen. Amen. Peace at your work, I say. Amen. If you see things happening in a nation, peace in a nation. Amen. Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, I don't care. Beirut in Lebanon. Or it's uh, Tel Aviv in Israel, or it is New York or Washington in America. The peace of God upon you, you nations, Amen. United Kingdom. Amen. See, they, they, during the uh, voting, ah, they really wanted the conservatives to go away. <laughs> ah, they must go. Conservatives must go. Conservatives must go. Then they went away. <laughs> <laughs> and enter Leba with Kia Stama. Stay, same story! Isn't it? It's because your peace is not in the conservatives. Yeah, your peace is not in Leba either. Yeah. If you want, you can go to the green. If you want, you can try the, the lip, lip dance. Isn't it? Yeah. Our peace is in the Lord. Yeah. And therefore, I say to you, UK and your economy, and your Kia Stamas, and Prince Charles, and, and uh, King Charles here, I say, peace be unto you, United Kingdom. Yeah. Speak peace to this nation. I don't know about your church, but has there been comfort in your church? <laughs> Maybe your church is very peaceful. Maybe there's no trouble in the family of God church. Is there? Well, but if there were to be trouble in the family of God church, so peace does not come from, it comes from Jesus. Amen. And when you have Jesus Christ, you are the author of peace. And so if you see confusion in the family of God church, you must say, Fogo, Fogo, peace be unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And when you do that, peace will actually come. Amen. I hope I won't go anywhere and go mad. But if I were to be made one of these days, you must say, peace be unto us. So that my, 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 my insanity can go.